Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome once again to the Sunday service. 
I'm glad to have you with us. This is Gateway Community Church, where we reach people and transform lives. By the way, my name is Zeke, and I'm glad that you're here with us. You might be watching us in your phone, or using your phones or using your TV screens, uh, if you sure you're basically, uh, yeah, remote. <laughs> or you might be watching us on your desktops, laptops, or whichever device you have. Glad to have you, though. And in case of where you were watching right now, right now you might be in your kitchen, you might be your desk, uh, in your uh, uh, computer room, office, or you might be in your bedrooms or your living rooms, wherever you are right now, find a comfy spot because we're going to be having a moment to celebrate and at the same time, a moment to learn. So be comfy, be ready, because we're going to get started in a few minutes. Now, a few things to note though, if you have your companions with you, if you're watching us as a group, tell to the person next to you, I'm glad that you're here. If you're alone, that's okay because we are glad that you're here as well. So by many or by few, we're glad to have you home with us. Welcome home. Now, before we start, I just need you to take this moment to reflect and take this moment to give thanks and have a one-on-one -on -one moment with God on this particular hour, on this particular minute, particular time. Before we start everything, let's have that moment real quick here. So about a minute or so, we're gonna have a pause. Take that opportunity to utter your personal moment, a personal prayer, your personal utterance of praise, whichever you have. Take this one-on-one -on -one moment right now. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. Looks like you're now prepared and ready. Now, before we get started first, let's dedicate this time in a word of prayer, shall we? Father God, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this time that we're gathered here together. Despite our locations right now, despite of where we are, we're gathered together in one place. We're gathered together right now, and may you abound with us. May your presence be with us always. As we give thanks, as we sing praises, as we glorify your name. This we pray in Christ's name. Amen. All right. Now, stand up if you may, or you may stay seated if you prefer, in case you're having a hard time standing up. Either way, whether you're standing up or sitting down, let's have this time to get ourselves prepared. Uh, limber up if you can, if you want to dance with us, or basically mull and internalize every song, because this is the time when your heart should sing with us as we sing praises, as we sing these songs, and let us celebrate today. Let's have the worship team take over in this time, and they're going to lead us to the celebration. So, let's get started. We believe that our God is with us today and forever. That's why we will sing this song.
His love endures forever. And by the grace of God, we will carry on. His love. Declare this, his love endures forever. His love endures forever. Come on, church. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. His love endures forever.
your love. We worship you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise.
Once again, I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing. For the goodness of God. Thank you, Lord God, Jesus. All my life you have been faithful. Thank you, Lord.
things that we want to give thanks to the Lord. Yung mga gusto po natin pagpasalamat sa Panginoon. This is our perfect time. This is the best time to thank God in every ways. As we sing this song. for the last time. for the Lord. Amen. Because the Lord deserves all the glory and praise and thanksgiving. Let's just pray before His presence and acknowledge God's moving in our means. Father, truly you are a good, good God and that your mercy endures forever. This afternoon we come to you humbly and as we continue, Lord God, to reflect on that song that we have just sang, we continue to believe that, Lord, you are faithful. You are faithful and you never change. Even at times when we fail or we falter, Lord, you are there to bring us up or to carry us up. So Lord, we just come to you this time around and pray that your mercy and your presence and your love that endures forever will just envelope us and just be in our presence. We give you all glory. We give you all thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Amen.
and amen. Well, bago tayo mo po, you know the drill. I want you to at least go to us, you know, at least five people and tell them you are blessed and greatly favored. Amen? Sige po, tayo po ay lumipat, lumibot, at kamayan natin ang bawat isa. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Let's be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang ating Diyos. Hallelujah. How, how many believes that God has something great for us? We we start a whole new, you know, kind of series for the month. Okay, or at least for the coming month. And I'd like to believe that it is now an opportunity for us to take our journey to a whole new level. Amen ba? And I think... Uh, It was a very good ending in terms of our kind of series last week when Brian kind of, you know, uh, encouraged us that each one of you, you have a story. Okay? Lahat tayo meron tayong kwento. Okay? Now, you know, you have to understand that every story has three endings. Okay? Let me say that. Every story has three different endings. And number one, of course... You know, a story can just simply end up in mediocrity. Okay? We call that so-so. You know, parang okay lang, pwede na rin. Pero, you know, this is a kind of story that did not really reach its potential. And the supposed, you know, uh, benefits or blessing that God has set apart for that particular story is probably, you know, achieved at some point, but there are also those that has been missed. Okay? Another ending for a story would be a tragedy. Right? You end up okay, or you begin, you began rather okay, and you end up wrong. That's a tragedy. Tama po ba? And of course, you can either choose your story to be a mediocrity or mediocre. Okay? A story that ends up in tragedy, or a story that ends up in victory. Okay? So, pwede ng sermon yun, no? Tama? So, ang tanong ko ngayon, tanong mo sa katabi mo, anong klaseng kwento ang gusto mong ending? Or anong klaseng ending ang gusto mo sa kwento mo? Amen ba? Tama? So magpasimula tayo. I'm gonna go back to actually a subject matter that I kind of discussed last year. I think I do believe before the coming of the year. Parang ayaw lumipat ng remote ko. <laughs> okay, can you check on my remote? Uh, I'm gonna talk about, you know, how, for, how, how does one really begin a journey that is supposedly, you know, a journey of victory. Amen? Naalala natin yung kwento ni Nehemiah. Ayaw parang lumipat tayo. <laughs> What's wrong with your remote? Right. Okay. Um, rem- remember when Nehemiah at one point in time said, I'm doing a great thing. I cannot come down. Naniniwala po ako ng bawat tinalaga ng Panginoon na alagad ay may isang gawain na dapat pong nilang ipatupad. Right? And it's up to you whether you're simply gonna breeze through that particular opportunity again in mediocrity, you know, uh, or probably, you know, allow it to just go and slide towards tragedy or leave or lead your life in victory. So I'm gonna go back, you know, the same title but different content. You know, how do one or does one live in victory? And I'd like to kind of propose this afternoon that in every endeavor, para magsimula ang isang bagay ng mainam, dapat merong mainam at malalim na simulain. It begins with the why. It begins with a why, na, not just a passive why, but na remember last time, I talked about the four important elements of why, and that is not only to understand what's why all about, but also answer the what for. Remember that? Diba? What for? You know, who with? Where to? And when to. Tama? Unang-una is, ano yun, para saan? Okay? At kung sino-sino ang kasama mo, because sometimes even a very good endeavor ends up to be, you know, shipwrecked because the people that were involved there were not the right people. Amen ba? Diba? Or kahit nasabihin mong, you, were, you have the right people, you have the right group, but the problem is you are situated in the wrong place. Di ba? Mali pa rin. It's just like driving a Ferrari on, you know, rice paddies. 
Tama? At tandaan nyo, ganun nga yun, no? kahit na yung Ferrari kayang tumakbo ng 240-280 top no? kilometers per hour, top speed, kung naman yung sinusundan mo ay 20 kilometers per hour lang na tricycle, kahit na anong gawain mo, ganun lang yung bagal mo. Amen ba? So it's up to you, tanongin mo sa katabi mo, sabi mo, sino sinusundan mo? Kung sino yung sinusundan mo, ganun din ang bilis mo. Right? So if you are situated in a situation wherein you are in, in a place where you are so talented, potentially gifted, but you are in the wrong place, you will never really thrive. And lastly is when to. The element of timing is always very, very important. Ang tanong ngayon, ikaw ba ay napag-iwanan na o nauunahan mo ang Panginoon? Yun ang isang mainam na tanong. So before we go on any further with this, let's talk about Okay, the fuel of dreams. Okay, the fuel of dreams. And I'm going to talk about the consuming fire. And in this particular consuming fire, kailangan po natin maintindihan na what defines you is not necessarily who you are, but more about who you are becoming. Okay, ulitin ko ha? What defines you is not more who you are, but who you are becoming. Kanina, ganda ng discussion namin nila, Nikki. You know? you know, understanding the parameters of certain things. Because actually, chances are, the reason why we constantly commit chronic errors is because we do not understand the dynamics. Na medyo malalim, no? Yung talagang nangyayari, yung mga elementong nangyayari, parang isang bagay maging mainam. In short, we are using probably wrong materials for the right project. Ulitin ko ha, it's the right project, it's the wrong materials. Pwede ba yung mangyari yun? Tama ba? So kung titignan po natin dito, sa bandang huli, maintindihan natin isa-isa na sabi niya, each individual, what? Ano? Sabi niya, carries along. Okay? A distinguishing work or mark, okay, that makes them unique. Okay, tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, ang unique mo talaga. Okay, wala kang katulad. Tama ba yun? No? Totoo yun. I mean, before the side of God and even on top of this world, there is only one you. Maring may kamukha ka, pero they will never be you. That is why it is often suggested, even in personal development, okay, a gathering or, or environment, na sabi nila, never compete with other people. Okay? But rather compete in becoming a better version of you. Because that has a greater probability. Okay? Another thing is, sabi to, each of the, ano yan? Basahin natin? Okay? Each one represents what? A cause or a mission. Meron pong simulain na itinakda ang Diyos na sadyang para sa'yo lang. Right? Kaya huwag mo kong gagayahin kasi merong isang bagay na itinakda ang Panginoon para sa akin. Kaya yung mga struggles ko, although parang kahalin tulad nung sa'yo, ay iba sa'yo. Kaya huwag niyong gagamitin na example yung, ako nga ganito eh, kaya mo rin. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin yon Kasi iba-iba tayo ng tinatawag na, yung pinag-usapan namin ni Isaiah at sa kaniki, pero tayo, magkakaiba po tayo ng psycho-emotional quotient. Right? Yung tama sa'yo, baka sa akin mali. Para sa'yo, simple lang yon sa akin, hindi dinadamdam ko yon Ganun, no? So iba-iba tayo ng reaction. Right? And because we are wired differently, we react to things differently. Come on. Right? So, hindi pwedeng pare-pareho. Yun ang unang-unang gusto kong establish, you know, in this thesis. Okay? Sabi niya, we don't need to, ano yun? Compete to be us. Okay? We simply become who we are. Sabi niya, it's our design. It's our calling. Kaya nga, your greatest pursuit should be, kumbaga, in the pursuit of God. Because the more you pursue God, the more you discover who you are. Narinig nyo na ba yung classic na axiom na hahanapin ko muna yung sarili ko? Parang ganoon, di ba? Tuwing may pinagdadaanan is hahanapin ko muna yung sarili ko. Meron akong kausap kanina, you know, parang in a message, uh, sabi sa akin is, eh, sabi ko, o oh, bakit may pinagdadaanan ka ba? Eh, sabi niya, ay hindi. Dati may pinagdadaanan. Napagdaanan na. Hindi ba? Ang ganda ng galon. Tama ba? Hindi naman nabang buhay, may pinagdadaanan ka. Right? So as we go on further with this, sabi niya ito, we create our reality. Everybody say that with me. Come on. We create our reality. What we believe becomes us. Okay? So, you know, I'd rather believe what God says I am rather than believe what other people says I am. 
Because chances are people will look at you from a distance and they would say, ah, ganito ka. Ay, ganyan ka. They will look at your resume and say, this is who you are. Right? They would psychoanalyze you and say, this is who you are becoming. Right? That's what they say. But that could be different from what God is saying. Tama po ba yun? So ang mahalaga, hindi sinasabi mo, hindi yung sinasabi ko. The thing is, church, listen to this. Everybody, including me, you have your own opinion of others and yourself. Would you say amen? May sarili kang pangunawa o pakiwari sa sarili mo at sa iba. At chances are, yung pakiwari mo sa sarili mo, iba ang perception ng iba or vice versa. Pero hindi mahalaga kung ano sinasabi mo tungkol sa sarili mo at sinasabi ko patungkol sa sarili ko. Because at the end of the day, it is God who will say who you are. Amen. Come on. Kaya, okay, burahin na muna natin yung idea na kasi kailangan kong i-please si ganito. Kailangan kong i-please si ganyan. Ano na lang ang sasabihin ni ganyan? Di ba? Brother, ang tanungin mo, Lord, ano sa palagay mo ang mainam? Kasi alam niyo maganda, ganito, even when you're going through something, Right? You go to people when you're going through something, meron silang opinion sa'yo. Kala mo tinutulungan ka nila, pero bandang huli, minamarites ka. Would you say amen? Tama? O oh, sige, o sa atin-atin lang to ah, kasi ganito ang pinagdadaanan ko. Oo naman sister, sige pag-pray natin. Mamaya alam na lahat ng buong church nagpe-pray na sila. Right? Come on. Tama? Right? But, but, but with God... You know, you don't have to tell God what you're going through because you, he, he knows everything about you. Right? So why go to others when you can go to God? So, I remember, you know, the, the late General Colin Powell who said this. There are no secrets to success. Okay? It is the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. Take note, even your failure should not be put to waste. Because you can learn so many things from failing. Only thing, it is the circumstance, it is the attempt that fails. It is never you. You know why? Because you can always try again and succeed. Right? Amen po ba? So sa pagpapatuloy po natin, balikan natin ulit si Jeremiah. Because, you know, Jeremiah is, should not be only studied one time. But I, I love the attitude of Jeremiah. Now, Jeremiah is a cry. I mean, he was kind of uh, tagged as the crying prophet because iyak nang iyak si Nehemiah. Hindi dahil si Nehemiah iyakin po. Uh, Jeremiah, I should say. It is because Jeremiah was in a situation that there is a national crisis. Alam niyo yun? That they were about to be invaded. And ang masaklap doon, sinabi ng Panginoon, usually kasi when the Lord speaks to the prophet, the Lord would say to the prophet, okay, an invader would come, but I will be with you and I will deliver you. That's a good thing. Amen? Pero si Jeremiah, baligtad, no? Sabi, sabi ni Lord kay Jeremiah, an invader would come and they will overpower you. And they will, you, you will be slaves. Eh, yun ang matindi. Nagpe-pray ka for solution, ipinag-pray siya, hindi talaga matatalo ka. Pinag-pray natin, Lord, damihan mo po ang membro namin, sabi ng Lord, hindi. You must downsize to upsize. Come on! Yun ba? Punta ka kay Lord, Lord, give me life. Sabi ni Lord, lose your life and then you will gain it. Ha? Huh? What that? Tama? So ganun yung situation ni Jeremiah. So hindi sino ang hindi iiyak? Ngayon, parang tayo si Jeremiah din, parang sabi niya, ayoko na yata. Tama? Alam mo pag ikaw yung pastor na maghahatid ng magandang balita, nako masaya. Pero kung ikaw yung maghahatid ng masamang balita, nako parang ayaw mo sabihin baka ikaw pati ikaw madamay ka. Come on. And this is exactly what Jeremiah was saying. And sabi niya, he was silenced, he was critiqued, he was actually, you know, yung king ayaw pakinggan si Jeremiah. In fact, nung si Jeremiah nagpa-prophesy about the coming of the invasion, okay? Okay, the coming of the invasion. Uh, instead, that Jeremiah was believed he was thrown in, on, in a well. Right? And in, inside the well, matak niyo yung, 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 yung balon na natuyo. Doon siya tinapon, tita Aida. Tapos, tapos no, habang nandun si Jeremiah, nagpa-prophesy pa rin. You know, the invaders are coming. And then people are saying, Jeremiah, shut up! No, so the king called for, you know, a, prof, a group of prophets to prophesy in favor of deliverance. But we all know, hindi mo pwedeng itago kung ano talaga yung niluloob ng Panginoon. You can prophesy all you want. But God will have His ways followed. Sabi niya, many are the plans of men, 
but it is the way of the Lord that in the end will prevail. So in the middle of this chaotic situation, ito po ang panalangin ni, ne, ni Jeremiah. Sabi niya, but if I say, kahit manahimik ako, yun ang sabi niya, Nikki, you know? If I say, I will not mention his word or speak any more of his name. Okay? Sabi niya, his words. Alright? Sabi niya dito, is in my heart, like what? Like a fire, a fire shut up in my bones. Remember niyo last time, sabi ko parang rayuma. No? Grabe, ma, 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 da, da itihan lang ng kumot, masakit. No? Parang, I cannot contain it. It's like fire in the bones. I am weary of holding it. Indeed, I cannot. Ibig sabihin, I have to speak about it. And I think that should be our attitude as church today. That we should never or not be silent anymore. But to share the gospel. Amen ba? Kaya lang ang kristyano kasi ngayon, parang nasanin na tayo, basta magsimba tayo ng Sunday, trabaho ng mga pastor, trabaho ng mga worker, trabaho ng mga Bible school students, ang mag-share. Basta ako magsisimba ako, nagbigay naman ako ng tights, bahala lang sila pastor dyan. No, the Great Commission is a work for everyone. Amen? For you, for me, for everybody. Now look at the book of Acts, chapter 6, verse 6 to no, uh, 10. Ang sabi nito, and they went out through, ano yan? Sabi niya, the region of Pergia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit, okay, to speak the word in Asia. And when they had come up to Misa, or, no, or Misha, sabi niya ito, is they, ano yun? Attempted to go to Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. Parang ganito, no? And sa dinami, dami mong puntahan, sabi pa rin ng Panginoon, hindi dyan. Sino sa atin na sumukan niya yung ganun? Ang dami niyong pinuntahan, tapos hindi din pala doon. Di ba? Yan, minsan, ganyan kami ng mga wife ko eh. May gagawin kami, magde-date kami. Punta kami sa Manu Tessini, paplanuhin namin. Pagdating namin doon, ay, wag na lang. Di ba? Sabi niya, malaki naman yung tibo mo sa bahay, doon na lang. Kasi pag tinignan mo, 400, 300, sabi niya, marami nang mabibilihan. No? Parang ano, no? no? So in short, uh, nagpunta ka lang doon sa sinihan, tinignan mo, tapos nagbayad ka lang ng parking, uuwi ka rin pala. Right? Come on. Right? Have you experienced that? Nasi din, dinami-dami nung gusto mong puntahan, di ba? Hindi rin pala doon katutunguhin ng Panginoon. And look at this. Sabi niya ito, is why? Because the Spirit of Jesus did not allow us there. So, sabi niya, passing by, okay, Mesia, sabi niya, they went down to Troas. And what happened? Sabi niya, in, the, in, in Troas, sabi niya, and a vision appeared to Paul. Everybody say that again. A vision appeared to Paul. Anong ibig sabihin? Alam nyo, hindi po pwede na ang ministry ginagawa lang natin ng papitsi-pitsi. Alam nyo yan? Yung papetiks-petiks, bahala na. Basta mag-worship tayo. Sa bahala kung saan tayo dalahin ng Lord as the Spirit leads. But sabi niya, a vision appeared to Paul. Sabi niya, in the night, a man of Macedonia, sabi niya dito, was standing there urging him, saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. And ano nangyari? And when Paul had seen the vision, ano nangyari? It took him a year. Right? Sabi niya, ipagpe-pray ko muna. Amen ba? Ano sabi niya? Immediately. Come on everybody, say immediately. Immediately, sabi niya, he sought to go. Humanap siya ng paraan para pumunta na siya. Humayo na siya. Hindi niya tinan, tinignan. Uh, Lenny, tingnan mo nga, may, meron ba tayong, ano dyan, per dime? May budget ba tayo? Hindi, hindi, tin, hindi tinatanong yung budget. Hindi tinatanong kung may sasakyan. Basta, immediately, let's go. You see the urgency there? Everybody say urgency. Pag may pinagagawa ang Panginoon, ngayon, wag nang ipagpabukas. Parang tahimik tayo ngayon. Ha? Come on. Kasi minsan, tayo mananalangin pa daw tayo. Kunyari, nangungusap na ang Panginoon. I mean, para ang weird, mananalangin ka kay Lord para bigyan kang direksyon. Siya na nga nagbigay ng direksyon. On the first place. Sabi niya, they sought to go to Macedonia. Sabi niya, and continuing that God has called to preach the gospel to them. In short, si Lord po ang nagsasabi kung saan. Ito na yung where to. Hindi lang yung why, hindi lang yung what for, hindi lang yung who with, Nikki, ito yung where to. 
Tandaan niyo to kahit saan kayo mapadpad. Kahit na maging masagana, mainam ang buhay niyo sa paningin ng marami at kahit kayo maginhawa ang buhay niyo, tandaan niyo ang kainaman ng buhay hindi nasusukat sa ginhawa ng buhay. Maraming maginhawa ang buhay pero wala sa Panginoon. Right? Maybe nasa Panginoon sila in a sense kasi nag-church sila pero wala sila sa panawagan ng Diyos sa buhay nila kaya their lives ended up in mediocrity. Come on church. Di ba? Kung sana sumunod ka lang sa Panginoon kung saan ka niya tinatawag kailan ka niya tinatawag masusumpungan mo ang kabuuan ng ihinahanda ng Lord para sa iyo. So it's not just about knowing the why. It's not just about knowing, heeding the calling and saying, you know, a vision I have received, I, have, I need to go to Macedonia. No, it's not just about that. It's about what for? It's about who it? Tinan niyo po dito, sabi niya, immediately, ano, we sought to go. Hindi niya sinabing, I sought to go. Did you see that? It's plural, it's we. Kasama yung mga kasama niya. Pero malimit pag may gawain sa ang Panginoon, yung pastor lang ang nauna, nahuli yung membro. Pastor, pagpipray ka na lang namin. Sabi, we sought JR. Amen? Sama, sama kami na humayo. Hindi lang si Paul. Hindi lang si Pablo. Amen? Parang tahimik ng mga... <laughs> Right? So I'm urging you today, church. We are venturing into a new season of ministry. Be excited in giving. Be excited in witnessing. Be excited in the expansion. Be excited in everything. Grabe, hindi pa nagsisimula yung worship. Hindi pa pa tayo mag-uumbisa. Palakpak na, palakpak na ako eh. Hindi yung grabe, labas na alitid ng mga worship leader. Andiyan pa rin kayo nakatunganga. Kailangan pa kayong ibudol. Para, alam niyo yun? Amen? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> because I think this is the scenario in church today. The church today, pardon me for the word, I love you guys, even you that are watching, but you are pathetic. Alam mo yun? Nakita ko, Pastor, grabe, nakaka-burden, Pastor. Anong ginawa mo? Magpe-pray ka, saan na Lord, i-lead mo ko. Pumunta ka sa isang lugar, nangusap ang Panginoon. Parang mahirap ha. Umuwi ka, yun pa rin ang gagawin mo. Because the truth is, you're not looking for what God is about to do or wants to do. You are looking for people or opportunities that will favor what you want. Tandaan nyo, malimit yung mga pinananalangin nating mga kahilingan, yung mga resultang inaasahan natin, taliwas sa gusto ng Panginoon. Gusto ko yung church natin dumagdag, madagdagan, nabawasan. Gusto ko lumaki, lumiit. Diba? Gusto ko magandang facility. Grabe, kakapirangbot ngayon. Amen ba? Amen? Because we are missing one thing. Nikki, yung pinag-discuss natin kanina, no? It's the reason for being. Diba? It's not something outside in. It's something that's inside out. It is coming from the overflow of your heart. You're not going to a revival service and then hopefully you get revived. You are revived. Amen. That's why you are in the revival service. Amen. Come on. So kung titignan natin, fighting can be difficult, sabi niya, and demanding. And sabi niya, one, need, two. Okay? Rediscover. Everybody say rediscover. rediscover. In short, hindi kinakailangan pa minsan-minsan lang natin ito pinag-uusapan. Kung maaari nga, linggo-linggo, araw-araw, we need to affirm, reaffirm our commitment. Amen? 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 Sabi niya, one does not only need to know his purpose, okay? To find meaning. You know? He too needs to discover a worthy fight to complete his, ano yan? Being. Ibig sabihin, alam niyo mga kapatid, minsan ang dami nating mga la- labanan na sinasamahan na wala namang katuturan. Fight a worthy fight. Okay, tanong yung katabi mo. Ikaw, tol, anong pinaglalaban mo? Oh, ikaw, bro, ikaw, ikaw, mahal, no? Ikaw, 
no, ading, no, o ikaw manang, anong pinaglalaban mo? Ba't ka nasa church? Alam mo nyo, sa church may pinaglalaban tayo, kaya tayo nasa church. Kasi kung kayo nagsisimba lang para ma-bless, nasa maling lugar kayo. Hindi ako nandito para i-bless kayo, kasi bless na kayo. Nandito kayo para humayo kayo. Para kayo ay hindi lang ma-bless, kayo maging blessing. Amen? Na pag napakinggan kayo ng iba, sasabihin nila, Marlo, yan ang gusto ko. Nag- walking miracle. Amen. Hindi yung pag nakita ka, kala ko ba kristyano yan? <laughs> Amen? Come on! It's, it's time. Right? I mean, it's something that is overflowing from our heart. And it's, it's contaminating others in a good way. So, ulitin ko ulit. What for? Para saan ba, mga kapatid sa Panginoon? Okay, uh, alam niyo yung mga leaders niyo, mga leaders niyo, talagang looking forward yun, naghahanda ng facility, ang dami naming, talagang masinop kami sa paghahanda ng facility, hanggang ngayon, ininegotiate namin, kasi gusto namin, pag lumipat man tayo, kung lilipat man tayo, maayos ang lilipatan namin. Hindi yung padalos-dalos lang tayo. Di ba? Pag sinabi ni Lord, next month lumipat kayo, or sabi ni Lord, next 10 years, okay lang. Basta ang mahalaga, nandito tayo o nandun tayo kung saan tayo tinawag ng Diyos. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Pero bandang uli ang tanong, may maganda, may malaki, may maliit, may mga kompletong facility ang tanong, what for? Para saan? Para saan ang mas malaking lugar kung yung mga bakante dyan, di nyo mapuno? Pero okay na kayo, pumupunta kayo, kayo kayo lang. Church, look at me. I am rebuking you today for being so passive. Kung inaakala nyo, makakalusot kayo sa Panginoon, sisingilin kayo ng Panginoon balang araw. Why? Because you are responsible for the gospel you have received. It is not something that you need to keep. Kaya ayain mo yung anak mo. Matagal lang hindi nag-church, ayain mo. Anak, gumising ka na. Baka pag gumising ka bukas, wala na ako. Kasama ko na si Lord, naiwan ka. Diba, by the way, Dinodonate ko na lahat ng mga gamit, pati yung sasakyan ko, doon sa mga maiiwan, ha? sa inyo na yun. Pag kami ni Rapture ni Lord, inyo na yung sasakyan ko, yung bahay ko, sa inyo na. Mag-enjoy kayo sa tribulation. Di ba? Ganun, you know, no? Right, come on. Hihintayin pa ba natin na maubos yung panahon? So, ang tanong, what for? Ba't tayo nagbibigay? What for? Bakit pinapaganda natin yung mga ari-ari yan? What for? Kung wala din lang kaluluwang maipapasok sa harian ng Diyos, nagsasayang lang tayo ng panahon. Amen. Parang marami ng galit sa akin. <laughs> Amen. Am I coming too strong? You know what? I could care less. This is God's work. Parang diari ba sabi niya, I cannot hold it now. Not anymore. One could seriously be pursuing something but wrongfully situated in the making. Pwede ba yon? Seryoso ka naman sa ginagawa mo. Tama naman yung ginagawa mo. Mali nga lang yung lugar mo. Di ba? Come on. Are you following me? So, church at the end of the day, look at this. Jer- I mean, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Basahin natin. Everybody go. If we are out of our mind, okay, as Psalm says, it is for God. No, kahit na sabihin ng iba na kami para mga baliw, para sa Panginoon, sabi niya, if we are in, sabi niya, our right mind, it is for you. For Christ's love, compel us. In short, Paul is simply saying, kung kami man nasa tamang isip o para sa inyo, nasa mainam na pag-iisip kami at sa iba para kami mga baliw, okay lang. Okay lang. Okay lang mabaliw para kay Kristo. Amen? Amen ba? Because sabi niya, the love of Christ compels us. Ibig sabihin, it's not because Gateway is challenging me. It's not because magaling ang pastor ko. Hindi dahil maganda ang music team namin. Hindi. Ang talagang nag-uudyok sa akin ang pag-ibig ni Kristo. Why am I sharing? Because God's love com- compels me. Amen? Come on, church. This, that, that is your fuel. That is your motivating factor. Because sabi niya, we are, ano yan? Sabi niya dito, convinced that one died for all, 
and therefore all died. Sabi niya, and he died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him. Oh, oh hey kapatid, sabi mo sa katabi mo, oh hey, binuhay ka ng Panginoon. Sino ang naniniwala dito? Kayo ay sa pamamagitan ng pagkabayubay ni Kristo sa, sa krus ng Kalbaryo, kayo ay may kaligtasan, meron kayong buhay. Kayo ay na, siya ay namatay para mabuhay kayo. Amen po ba? Amen? Amen. So ano sabi niya? Kaya yung buhay nyo, ipamuhay nyo para sa Kanya. Di ba? Hindi para sa asawa mo lang. Hindi para sa anak mo lang. Hindi para sa kapatid mo lang, sa pamilya mo lang, sa church mo lang. Ipabuhay mo para kay Kristo. Mawalan ka lang ng jowa, mamamatay na ako. Di ba? Come on! Tigilan na ang kababawan. Amen? Panahon na para lumalim. Parang wala talagang kung... Grabe. Part 1 pa lang to. Parang, parang patang-pata na kayo, hinang-hina na kayo. Hindi pa tayo lumalalim. <laughs> but I say, sabi niya, ano yan, sabi niya? Or speak anymore His name. His word is what? Everybody say fire. Fire. What will keep you on fire? What will keep you on fire? What will keep you getting up in the morning again? What will keep you going? Alam nyo, what we do in GLS, it's hard. Tita Aida, no? no? Ngayon ko lang nararamdaman yung talagang sagad-sagad yung pagod ko. No? Hindi ko nga maintindihan. Parang, parang lately, ano, na-indigest ako dahil sa dami ng meeting na kape. Kape, kape, kape. Tapos sabi ng mga anak ko, ba't diyan gusto mag-meeting sa loob-loob ko? Dito lang kasi mura eh. Di ba? Mura na hindi halata, no? Kasi may refill yung kape. Mag-Starbucks ka, mahal-mahal ng kape. Siyempre, ha, may, dapat may, may rep representation ka, no? Meron kang, meron kang, ano, meron kang arrive. Meron kang dating. Di ba? Ang problema, minsan kahit na may dating ka, laka naman datong. No? So, point of the matter is this, what makes you do that? Kasi kahit tanong yung seat tayo, wala man tayong sweldo sa GLS eh. But why are you doing it? Amen? Alam nyo, karamihan ng ating mga ministers sa church, volunteer. Di ba? And we will hire you. Alam mo, kung mag apply kayo ng trabaho sa gateway, sasabihin ko na sa inyo, ang daming trabaho sa gateway, mag-apply kayo. mag pa kayo. Huwag lang kayong maghahanap ng sweldo. Pero may trabaho. <laughs> Amen? Ba yun ang problema? Maraming trabaho, walang sweldo. Sasabihin sa atin ni Tita Aida, according to the availability of funds. Pero bakit natin ginagawa? Taon na ang lumipas. Amen? Why? Because the love of God or Christ compels us. Ang naguudyok sa atin, hindi dahil kaibigan kita, hindi dahil churchmate kita, ang naguudyok sa atin, ang Espiritu ng Panginoon na nagsasabi sa akin, Anak, humayo ka. Amen? Right? Ang tawag mo dyan, motivated desire. Di ba? Motivated. Alam niyo yung mga taong motivated? Kahit na pigilan mo, no? Sino sa inyo yung mga may anak kayong high school? No? At sasabihin sa inyo yung mama, sige na. Ma, please buy. Alam niyo yung mga anak na high school, napaka-creative niyan eh. Pag hindi nila mahingi sa nanay nila, hingi nila sa tita nila, sa uncle nila, gano'n, no? Amen ba? Tama, come on. Right? Gagawa ng paraan. Sa magtataka ka, ba't sa mukinuha yung cellphone mo? Bigay ni tita. Gano'n, no? Right? Humahanap ng paraan. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, uy, daig ka pa ng high school. Gagawa ng paraan. Bakit? May motivation. Tinan mo yung, yung katabi mo. Mukha bang may motivation yan? May motivation ka ba ka mo talaga? Eh, bakit late ka? Di ba? Tama? Al alam nyo kung sasabihin ko sa inyo, ang blessing depende sa tagal nyo sa church. Siguro mag-uunahan kayo, alas 4 pa lang nakapila na kayo. Amen? Di ba yung, kung ang blessing, no? Tita Doti, ano? Merong, ano? Merong time card? Anong oras kaya kaya kung magpa-punch in? Di ba? Maganda siguro yun. Lord, lagyan mo nga ng time card ang blessing. Para kung sino yung pinakamahaba, may overtime, mas malaki ang pay. Di ba, Cyril, oh? 
Okay, tanong mo katabi mo. What motivates you? Or better, better yet, ito tanong. What will motivate you? Yung totoo lang. Alam nyo, yan ang isang pag-pray nyo, Lord, I wanna do great things for you. It's not enough. Ang ipag-pray mo, Lord, motivate me to do great things. Say it again. Lord, motivate me to do great things. Lord, motivate gateway to do great things. Amen? Because at the end of the day, what drives you makes you. Sabi niya, it becomes a quality that defines you. Amen? It's a quality that defines you. Minsan ipinangalan na sa'yo yung ugali na yun. Bakit? Tinan nyo to. Ang kalukuhan ng mga Pinoy, no? Ang ganda-ganda ng pangalan ng asawa ko, ginamit ng binalahura. Ano? Pag sinabi mong Marites, ang naalala ko, asawa ko. Sa kanila naalala nila, chismosa. No? Pag Karen, masungit, reklamador. ba? Diba? Kilala nyo si Tolitz, si pare, anong, no? no? Latest, no? Tol nung latest, no? Yung gano'n, no? Pumapayag tayong binabalahura, tapos tuwan-tuwa tayo. Amen? Huwag niyong tawagin marites, tawagin chismosa. Huwag niyong dadamay niyo pa yung asawa kong kapal mo. Right? Come on. Hindi ka makatingin. Dito tingin, huwag kung saan-saan. Di ba? Kasi bandang uli, makikita nito, the passion that consumes you springs from the vision that inspires you. Pag may vision, may inspiration. Pag may inspiration, may passion. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, mukha ba akong nakaka-inspire? Pag yung katabi mo, hindi nakaka-inspire, isa lang ibig sabihin, walang vision. Tama? Kasi yung mga taong, alam niyo yung mga tao, Thomas Edison, Steve Jobs, yung mga ganyan, no? Di ba? Ang sar- sarap pakinggan eh. Bakit? Pag sinishare nila yung mga vision nila, di ba? Parang ang sarap pakinggan ng kwento. Right? Nakaka-inspire. Yun lang mga taong may pangitain na nakaka-inspire. Alam nyo bakit? Kasi yung mga taong walang vision, pag nagkwento, black and white. Walang flavor. Di ba? Tama? Come on. Na, na meron kayong yung sa, tawag sa akin kayo ni ni ano ni Sai at saka ni Nikki. Na, pastor na budol mo kami do sa order namin. Ha? Kasi ano gahanap sila ng order sabi ko alam mo masarap yung paborito namin ni Nathan. Gaho yung yung ano mixed berries. Tapos na curious sila. Nag-order yun din kahit na ang lamig-lamig. Grabe nag-mix berries sila kaya din na maubos eh. Di mo masarap na, nabudol mo kami, sabi pastor, no? Ganun ang magkwento. Pag nagkwento ka, ko, Lord, gustong, gusto nung, gugustuhin nung iba, di ba? Pag kinuwento mo yung church mo, black and white eh. Parang walang kwentang puntahan. Tama? Pero pag yung kinuwento mo, grabe, parang, pwede ba ngayon pumunta na tayo? Ganun dapat ang kwento mo, yung nakaka-excite. And most of the people that are motivated, are exciting to be around. Why? They change things. Grabe ikaw, sawang-sawa ka na, tawag mo, tortang itlog, nilagyan lang ng pepper, paminta, hinalo-halo, omelay na. Di ba? Yung dating tortang boring, ngayon omelay na. Mamili ka anong feeling? Mushroom. Di ba? Uh, cheddar cheese o oh, mozzarella. Right? Grabe, no? Pero sa totoo lang, torta lang na-upgraded. Okay, tinanong yung katabi mo. O ano, na-inspire ka na. Tanungin mo. Kasi kung lalabas kayo ng church as hindi kayo na-inspired, huwag na kayong babalik. Baka mahawa lang ako sa inyo. Dapat paglabas ninyo, nakaka-inspire kayo. Sar- alam mo ang ganda sa church. Alam mo, al- buti na lang hindi ka sumama. Alam mo bakit pag sumama ka, mag enjoy ka, buti nga sa'yo. Di ba? Ganun, no? Parang, ah, hindi pwede. Next week, pupunta ako. Di ba? Ganun, no? Come on. Kaya next week, pag yung katabi mo, wala kang katabi, lagot ka sa akin next week. Okay? Kaya humanak, uy, tabi-tabi tayo. <laughs> Kita mo naman, isang linya nga, tabi-tabi. Di ba? <laughs> Siniksik. Because why? Every passion has distinction. Hindi mo pwedeng hiramin yung passion ni Nikki. 
hindi mo pwedeng iramin yung passion ni pastor. Kasi yung passion na yun, ang Holy Spirit na nagbibigay. Amen. Amen. Tinan yung si Paul, palipat-lipat na, troas, kung saan saan sila, pergia. Pero, di ba, nung nangusap ang Spirit, sabi ka agad, immediately. Anong ibig sabihin? Pag kumikilos ang vision, pag mayroong vision, yung mga tao hindi na uupo, immediately tumatayo. Tara na! Di ba? Kaya pag sa church walang movement, ibig sabihin walang vision. O kung may vision man, hindi na unawaan ng mga tao. Church, naiintindihan nyo ba yung vision? Amen? Amen? So kung titignan po natin dito, His word is in my where? Saan? Saan? Wala sa notebook. Marami sa inyo may mga nag-notes pa kayo. Yung iba sa inyo, digital ha, pero hindi nyo naman binabasa sa bahay. Di ba? Buti pa yung notebook nyo, blessed. Kasi yung notebook nyo, tinago yung Word of God. Kayo, hindi nyo tinago. Nung iniwan nyo yung notebook nyo, hindi nyo, meron akong pastor, nireview ko. Eh. Sabi ko, asan journal mo, pastor, naiwan ko. Sabi ko, buti pa yung bahay mo, blessed, ikaw hindi. Yung journal, kaya ka nag-journal, kasi dinadala mo, pag may panahong ka binabasa mo ulit, tama nga, Lord, no? Amen? Kasi baka hindi mo naintindihan yung sinabi ni pastor, pero nung binasa mo ulit, naintindihan mo. May dagdag pa. Amen? Amen. Huwag mong itago. Pa-notes, notes ka pa. O, asan notes mo last week? Anong naunawaan mo last week? Ako, ako na yung preacher ngayon, di ba? Nag-notes pa ako. Kaya nga, I know the story, tapos minedited ko yung story. O, hindi naman sinama ni Brian, every story ends in three ways, right? Sinabi ba ni Pastor Brian? Ha? Na may tragedy, na merong mediocrity at merong victory. Right? Pero grabe, habang minimeditate ko, everybody has a story. Lord, thank you. Dahil ang story ko, hindi si Larry Alcala ang sumusulat. Puro cartoons. Ang story ko, ang Holy Spirit ang sumusulat. Kaya kung may pinagdadaanan man ako ngayon, nakakaiyak man ngayon, tempted man ako ngayon, weak man ako ngayon, alam ko maganda ang ending ng story ko sa huli. Kasi kung ngayon mahirap ang buhay ko, ganyan talaga, parang pelikulang Tagalog lang yan. Sa umpisa, yung bida, nagpapabugbog muna. <laughs> parang hindi talaga kayo. <laughs> Bahala kayo sa buhay niya. Kaya ang prayer natin, Lord, give me the vision. Why? Bakit? Because it is the vision that will give you inspiration. Diba? Pag may pangitain ka, yung pangitain mo, imamotivate ka, Brother Daniel. Eh. Diba? Tala gawin natin to. Tara gawin natin yun. Diba? Naalala nyo ba na, alam nyo ba na back in the day in the ministry, meron yung panahon na centennial celebration ng Pilipinas yun eh. Gumawa ka ng production, bayan, bumangon ka. Imagine si Kuya Daniel na pasayaw ko. Naniniwala ba kayo nun? Sa tanang buhay niya, yun lang yata ang role niya sa production, tumatakbo-takbo pa. Pasayaw-sayaw, di ba? Pero lahat kami na lang yung masaya noon. Ang dami namin nagagawang mga ano, na mga production, kung ano-ano. Pero wala naman kaming facility as a church. Nagpa-practice kami sa Sunshine Park. May nagpa-practice, nalaglag pa sa kawayan. No? Bakit? Kasi noon walang kill joy eh. Everybody was in for the vision. And our vision back in the day was mobilizing the church and expanding God's kingdom. How many remembers that? Di ba? We expanded. Kaya ngayon, medyo talagang sinisinup natin yung vision. Eh, kasi baka sa kaka-expansion, magwalaan kayo eh. Di ba? Kaya ngayon, eh, talagang reaching people lang, transforming lives. Ha? Dito tayo, reaching people. Yung mali-reach at transform natin. Dito tayo. Dito, maliwanag. Okay? Hindi transforming lives sa kabilang church, sa makabilang church. Ha? Huwag ganun, walang ganun. Dito, reaching people, transforming lives. Okay, wag na munang si Tita Tess kasi tinitingnan niya yung verse. Sabi niya, look at that. I am the gate, no? The sheep comes in, no? They find pasture and they go out. Sabi niya, ba't ka doon sa go? Pwede ba yung A na lang ang ilagay niyo doon? Yung 1 John 10, 9A. Okay? Grabe sa dinami-daming mapapansin ng asawa ko yung pang lumalabas. Okay? But okay, as we continue on. Look at this. Sabi niya, it is that burning force from within. Everybody say it again. From within, ibig sabihin, Nikki, sa'yo, sa loob mo, Tita Aida, Tita Doti, sa loob mo, hindi sa katabi mo. 
Pagka nag-church, nakakaingahan nyo kasi yung katabi ko eh. <laughs> di ba? Eh, kung nung panahon namin, yung katabi mo, hindi ka maingahan nyo kasi po, pa, sa bawat sinasabi ko, Amen, tunay, hallelujah. Grabe. Di ba? Yung mga nakakaalala nun, alam nila yun, di ba? Pero ang point is, ito po yan, no? Apart from the motivation thing, everybody read this, no? By Holtz. Ano sabi niya? Ability is that you're capable of doing motivation, no? Determines what you do. Attitude determines how you or how well you do it. Amen? So, ito yung kagandahan. Kasi pag ang ginagawa mo, led by the Spirit, sigurado may attitude How many will do ministry with attitude? Ano, hindi yung, kasi pag sinabi mo sa world na with attitude, negative eh. Uy, grabe, with attitude. Bakit? You know? Oh, may attitude, di ba? Di ba, parang yung, yung tama, binabaloktot natin, kaya sa amin na, uh, di ba, pag pinansin mo, is, sobra ka naman, napaka-sensitive mo. Eh, yung word na sensitive, it's a, it's, it's a positive word. Ibig sabihin, a person is able to sense the needs of others. Pero ginawa natin nega. Kita mo na. Diba? Pag ikaw masyado kang masungit, masyado kang balat si Bush, oh, sensitive naman. Mali eh. Ang tawag doon, hindi sensitive. Ang tawag doon, touchy. Ganon din, pag sinabi mo, oh, with attitude. Oh, sinasabi mo, ah, oh, bastusin. ba diba? Come on. Right? Pero pag sinabi mo, do ministry with attitude, ibig sabihin, men, with excellence. So, gateway, are we doing, doing ministry with attitude? We should. In the right way, ah, na attitude, ah, yung excellent attitude. So, kung titignan po natin dito, bukod doon sa motivation na yan, okay, activate the faith. Everybody say, activate the faith. In the world, we spend cash. The currency of the world. In the heavenlies, we spend faith. Amen? Your cash in the heavenlies doesn't work. But your faith does. What you believe, it will happen. Amen? So makikita po natin, pag sinabi natin activated faith, everyone is brought into this world for, ano yan? A specific role and purpose. Kaya mahalaga, ito doti, you know? ano ba? Ano bang role mo? Diba? Pastor, wala akong... Hindi, alam nyo kasi ganun tayo agad. Wala akong ano. Ito lang ang... Wala. Hindi, kasi hindi mo pinapray eh. Ano sabi? Seek and you shall find. Right? Kaya ang saliksigin mo, Lord, bigyan mo ako ng motivation. Alam pag hindi mo alam ang gagawin mo? Ha? Kung hindi mo alam ang gagawin mo, first is seek the vision. Lord, give me the vision. Or Lord, help me understand the vision. Kasi the vision will inspire you. And as the vision inspires you, Marlo, it motivates you. Tinan mo, yung bang, yung bang pagbibigay pag Valentine's Day na tututunan? Ha? O ano lang yun, talagang tinuruan tayo ng mundo na pag Valentine's Day, bumili kang chocolate, bumili kang bulaklak. Di ba? Mag-date kayo ng asawa mo, pumunta kayo sa isang dinner date. Di ba? I mean, really? Really? Kasi sa isang taong motivated, maaaring ang gagawin niya, hindi kami lalabas, pero ayusan ko yung bahay. No? Patsabihin ko sa mga bata, matulog muna kayo sa ibang mga tita nyo, kasi magsiseta pa ako ng candlelight dinner. Di ba? Alam niyo mga taong motivated, nagiging creative eh. Wala pa akong taong nakitang inspired o motivated na hindi creative. Ang, ang, ang hindi lang creative yung banok, no? Yung parang, ah? Ano daw, ah? Yung mga ganun? Yung parang lagi, ano? Yun? Okay. Tinan mo yung katabi mo. Mukha ba akong creative? Ang creative nyo nga, di ba? Di ba? Yung mga mata nyong dilat, nagagawa nyong singkit. Di ba? Yung mga singkit nyong mata, nagagawa nyong dilat. Di ba? Ang creative nyo, yung mga, mga buhok nyong unat, nakukulot. Yung mga kulot, nauunat. Di ba? Tama, yung iba na wala nang panggasto sa botox, ginawa na ng binana, tapos minasking tape, no? Creative. Tapos nagwig, hindi na halata na may ano. So, kaya pagkausap kaya, ano ka, may mga ano? E, di ba? 
Pag gusto, may paraan. Come on, church. Amen? Parang feeling ko eh, pinapagalitan ko kayo. <laughs> Efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. Alam nyo, at the end of the day, it's not about strength. It's not about wisdom. But it's the right direction. Kahit na malakas ka, matalino ka, kung ang tinutungo mo mali. Di ba? Run with speed, sabi ni no? Bruce Wilkinson. Run with power. But what matters is the right direction. Amen? Alam nyo, natutuwa lang ako sa church natin kahit papano. Naniniwala tayo at nakikita natin we are in the right direction. Amen? Noong una, medyo hesitant tayo. Medyo, medyo pumapalag ako doon. Eh, honestly, yung, you must kumbaga, decrease that you might increase. Yung parang you must downsize to upsize. Hindi ko talaga maintindihan. Pero talagang ginawa ng Panginoon yung panahon na wala talagang laman yung center. Si Lenny lang sa si Tita Aida. sa kayong mga youth na tumatambay. Si Hope. Yan. Tama. Tama. Pero katabi tayo ng University Belt, no? Parang yung dating galing nating mag-reach out, parang, ha? Bano, no? Di ba? Nagka- nagkatuwaan pa ng titayin na naalala mo yun. Kung yung titlang palang nag ng service natin ay nag online at mas malaki pa yung binibigay nila, mag-online na lang tayo. Tama, di ba? Tama naman, di ba? Kasi yung mga nag-aatin, nandiyan nga lahat, nakangiti, di mo nag-o-opering. Nakikimirihenda pa, di ba? Tapos yung hindi nag-aatin, paminsan-minsan lang, pag nagbigay, mas malaki pa. Eh, di ba pati gagastos? Online na lang. At <laughs> yun ang nagtawid sa atin sa pandemic, di ba? Right? So, ang ginawa ng Panginoon talagang, sige, ayaw nyong, no? Kasi yung mga, mga bagay na gano'n, yung mga nagwawala, nawawala eh. Right? Talagang inubos ng Panginoon, right? Pero, masaya kasi, tinira ng Panginoon yung rap, nararapat para sa Kanya. So, when you talk about activated faith, everybody say activated faith. Sabi niya, is you know that you know, friends in the Lord, na sabi niya, na you cannot go against what God wants. Ano sabi ni Jeremiah? I cannot hold it. Sino sa atin dito kayang pigilan ng gustong gawain ng Panginoon? Amen? Parang yun, tita na, di ba? Gusto nating i-preserve talagang gumagawa tayo ng parang pigaan talaga hanggang maubos ang pera. Yung huling 100,000 ito niya na ibigay niya. <laughs> Kasama ko, di ba? O, di ba? O, kala nyo, sige, sige, sige. Kala nyo, madadaan nyo sa bigay. Tignan natin, mag-ubusan tayo. The months came. Nothing. Alam nyo, guys, alam nyo minsan, dapat makinig tayo. Baka, hanap tayo ng hanap ng sagot. Yung sagot pala nasa harap natin. Amen? Amen ba? So, understand one thing, sabi niya. The moment one, everybody go, The moment one arrives at the full realization of their de- design, they function at their fullest and become complete. They understand the end. One of the best architects, Paul Andrew, who designed the Sunken Museum uh, in the People's China Museum. And siya yung nagsabi nito. Sabi niya, the moment one arrives at the full realization of each design. Sabi niya, they function at their fullest and become complete. Each one of you, including I, Nathan, all of you, God has designed you distinctly and beautifully. And you are not just aesthetically produced. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang pinaganda ka at nakita ka. Umusbong ka parang bula. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Meron kang gagampanan. Amen? Kaya, 
ikaw po ang may responsibilidad na malaman kung ano yon Tita Doti. Kung hindi mo alam, surround your people who can help you discover it. Because only then can you truly experience an activated faith. So, Papano, how will you believe something that you do not know? How will you believe for something which you have not seen? Hindi po ba? You have to, ang sabi niya, to be obsessed, no? If for the, sabi niya, with the vision to get it. Tawag ni City Fletcher dyan, midnight obsession. Yung nasumukan niyo na yun, yung, yung humiga ka na, nakapikit na yung mata mo, balikwas ka ng balikwas, hindi ka makatulog. Kasi iniisip mo yung isang bagay. Sino sa inyo yung nasubukan na yung ganun? Ano yun? Maganda kung ang nakaka- hindi ka makatulog dahil may vision na binigay sa'yo ang Panginoon. Hindi, hindi ka makatulog kasi bukas may sisingil sa'yo. O dadamputin ka ng polis, no? Yun ang mahirap. Sabi niya, if you do not have the mental capacity, I love this, sabi niya, okay, the heart, okay, sabi niya ito, the determination and the desire, ano yan, to obtain it, he will not have it. Heart, mental determination. Meron ako isang friend lagi niya, pag nag-detect siya, ang, ang kanyang reminder sa akin is, don't forget your mental health. Take some breaks. Nakakatulong pala yun sa no? Para hindi ka ma-stress. Tumayo ka konti, Nikki, lakad-lakad ka. Reboot your mind. Amen? Mayo ka ng konti. Di ba? Tanggalin mo lang yung, tra- yung isip mo doon sa ginagawa mo. Refresh it. Reboot it up for a while. Amen? Come on. Tama? So, at the end of the day, we realize one thing. Apart from the activated faith, when the faith is activated, ito maganda. You see elevated result. Yun na masarap. Di ba? Pag activated na yung faith, ano yung nauna? O, oh, nakalimutan na. Balikan yung notes. Ano yung nauna? Motivated desire. It's about the vision. It's about the purpose. And then, when you believe the purpose, the vision, ano? Activate it. And when you activate it, anong? You see elevated results. Eh, karamihan sa atin, elevated blood pressure, blood sugar. Yung mga ganun, eh, di ba? Yun ang na-elevate eh. Dapat ang ma-elevate yung result ng vision. Sabi niya, people with vision can't be talked out of their desire and passion. Kahit na anong gawain mo. Di ba? Tama? Kahit na pigilan mo. Sabi niya, if we are out of our minds, sabi ni Paul, as Sam says, it is for God. Kahit na sabihin nilang, Sira ulo kami. Alam namin para sa Panginoon to. How many will agree with me? Okay lang masiraan o mabaliw para kay Lord. Yung iba baliw sa drugs. Yung iba baliw sa pera. Yung iba baliw sa jowa. Okay lang di mabaliw. Basta para kay God. So pag sinabi, baliw ka talaga para kay Panginoon. Or para kay Lord. Okay lang. Di ba? Tama? Kasi bakit ka pa maglalasing kung kay Lord pa lang may tama ka na, di ba? <laughs> right? So look at this. Sabi niya, it is for God. Say that together, please. It is for? It is for God. Okay, so your goal will constrain you. Pag alam mong may pangitain, mayroong adikain, may simulain, yun yung mag-uudyok sa'yo eh, na magbigay, tita, tita. Uudyok sa'yo na maglingkod. Uudyok sa'yo yung mag... Diba? Can you imagine we've been doing it? I personally has been doing this for the last 35 years. This is my 36th year on March 8th. That's my spiritual birthday. Thank you for the birthday gifts. Right? So sabi niya, your goal constrains you. Sabi niya, a real goal is set, not wished for. Diba? Parang ito. Sino sa atin na na, I will lose weight. Sige, yan ganun. Come on. Yan, puro kayo. Yan, oh, puro kayo. Hindi yun vision. Tawag doon illusion. Okay? Uh, I have an app before. 
that teaches me how to really go on a platform. Sasabihin niya sa akin, ito ang incremental mo. This day, gusto mong ma-achieve yung 10 pounds loss or 5 pounds or 2 pounds, ito yung calorie intake mo. Ito yung workout mo. Sabi niya, kung gusto mo talagang gumanda, huwag kang kumain ng biglaan na parang pinagsama mo yung breakfast, lunch, and dinner with merienda one time. That's why eating buffet is not good for you. Better eat small portions every two hours. Because your body can digest it right away. You absorb it. No excess. Right? Oh, meron pa tayong, meron pa tayong health. Ano dito? No? Tapos sabi niya, every diet regimen doesn't work without exercise. Di ba? The diet ako. Oh, ten nangyayayat ka nga. Lahat naman ng muscle mo parang para ang ano 'yon, para kang pag, no? Nagbagsakan lahat 'yon. 'Di ba? Yung pisngi mo nandito na sa baba mo, yung ganoon, no? Kasi nga pumayat ka talaga, pero lahat ng dati mong taba, kaya pag tinaas mo ganoon yung iyong kamay, 'di ba? Parang kasi elastic man may nakabitin na ganoon. Tapos pag ginalaw mo ganoon, toing toing, toing ganoon, ha? Kasi nga nag-lose ka nga. Hindi ka naman healthy. Come on. So, yun ang sinasabing, your goal constrains you. Alam mo kung gaano karami yung dapat mong kainin. Alam mo yung da- gaano mo takbuhin. Hindi yung, sana pumayat ako, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I rebuke this cholesterol. Lord, I rebuke this bilbil. Huwag niyong i-rebuke yung walang kinalalaman sa disiplina nyo. Amen? Come on. Set a goal. And your goal constrains you. Kasi pag may goal ka, magdidisiplina ka. Amen ba? Grabe yung asawa ko, hindi ko talaga mapag-backslide kumain. Kasi ako, kasi classmate ako ni Tita Aida, pag nakakita kami ng kanin, napupusses kami. Yung ganon, na parang, <laughs> gigigil ka sa kanin, di ba? Kanin pa more, di ba? Sabi nung asawa ko, oh, stakain lang ka na! Hmm. Tapos kunyari, bibitawan ko, iikot ako sa kaldero, kakain na, di ba? Uh, backslider. Okay? Church, discipline. Pag may goal, may discipline, may constraint. You do not wish it, you do it. Because at the end of the day, so I mean, not everything is equally important. Okay? Mastery comes through strict training and repeated cycles of growth. So, hindi lang minsan. Minsan dapat ulit-ulitin. So, as we wrap this up. Know your calling. Serve your purpose. Fulfill your destiny. Amen? Amen? Parang feeling ko hinang-hina kayo ngayon. Let's all stand together. Hallelujah. God is at work. Amen? Amen? So don't let other people talk you out of your calling and dictate your future and your destiny. Okay? Let the work of God be complete in you. Let us pray. Father God, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa pagkakataong ito na pinalalahanan mo kami about the importance of just allowing our fire to burn, allowing our, our motivation to truly, Lord, direct us to what is ahead. And thank you, Lord, because just like the song we have sang a while back, that reminds us that you're a good God. You're a good God. And that you mean well for each one of us. For truly, Lord, we confess what Paul said in the book of Romans 8.28, that all things work together for good to those that love God and are called according to His purpose. Allow us to leave our calling. Allow us to leave our purpose. That in so doing, we will discover that great adventure that you have set for us. That we will end our story not in mediocrity or in a tragedy, 
but we'll end our story in victory. Bless everyone that is here. And even as we prepare our hearts to constantly be in an atmosphere of worship, as we give to you our offering, our tithes, and respond to the message as well. Allow us to give generously, not out of compulsion, not out of necessity, because you love a cheerful giver. Bless what we're about to give and receive what we have to offer. This we pray in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Let's put on the house lights. Are we blessed? Okay. Alam nyo, if you're blessed, don't just remain blessed. Pass on the blessing. Amen? And allow the overflow of your heart just overflow as it should. So as we give today, let us give with hearts rejoicing. Amen? And then we're going to close in a word of prayer. Are you ready to give with rejoicing? Amen. Come on, church. Let's give on to the Lord as JR plays in the background. Amen. Let's all stand. Turn to the person beside you and say, You are blessed and favored. And you are called with a purpose. Let's all raise our hands unto the Lord. Father, we thank you for this beautiful Sunday afternoon. And as we look forward to what is ahead, allow us to run our race with vigilance, with passion, with vision, and with the motivation coming from an activated faith. Thank you, Lord. I pray that the love of God, our Father, the ever-increasing grace of Jesus, the Son, and the constant communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Thank you for joining us again this Sunday, as this is a momentous occasion where we remember the goodness and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, as we prepare, I would need you to take something to stand in as your communion elements. For the bread, you can take a piece of bread or anything that you can partake with. And for the cup, you can take a glass of water or anything, any beverage that you can use. And we will do this together by instruction. So follow the instructions. And before we do, let us remember how God is and how good He is. I will be reading from Scripture as we'll be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. And as we remember along these lines, let's also remember and let's also follow the instructions that will be shown. And it goes like this. For I have received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night which he was betrayed took bread and when he has given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup and he said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Thank you.
And this is the end of the service. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Dr. Saul, for the message. And thank you, everyone who are watching right now for taking the time to sit along and to listen and to take this moment to basically get your week started. Now, at this time, this is the best time to basically be a blessing. We're going to be sending you off now. We're going to have you enjoy your week. But before you do that, here's a thought to uh, bring with you as you go. You might be the person needed to start the miracle. You're the only person needed. All you need is to say yes to what God is telling you. All right? Now, off we go. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you again next week. And I'm going to see you again also on the other services. God bless you all. Have a happy Sunday.